shall be filled with music, and the cares that infest the day shall fold their tents like the Arabs, and then silently steal away. Join with me. The voice doctor will be with us too. My name scares little children and women, but I am a good man, a good person. And I want to tell you how I grew up. It was hard, hard living. And I finally realized that you can be all things to all people. So I was true to myself. I hope that you understand. Dracula is like you. We all try to make a living. We try to get through the day. I can't take the light. I'm on medication now, so I can look at the light. But at night, I sleep, and I listen to Mozart. The night shall be filled with music, and the cares that infest the day shall fold the tents like the Arabs, and as silently steal away. I scream like you scream. And I wonder what life is about. I've been around for years and years. I fly at night. And if you fly with me, you can see the world. The world is right there in front of you. We have Count Dracula. Don't call me Count, call me Drek. So, Dracula, you want to be called Drek, is my nickname, yes. I like to listen to music. Not many people like to listen to the music I like. I don't listen to the upbeat, the music I own. I like to listen to music by the masters. And the masters are Mozart, the best. Mozart was just one musician, I know. But he turned me on. Ha, ha, ha. I liked to play him at the castle when I had the castle years ago. And what did people think? They liked him. They didn't know that I liked him. And I slept with the music at night. No sleeping pills, no problems. Mozart. Are you telling us that Mozart could put you to sleep? Not only could he put me to sleep, he made me at one with myself. I want to tell you about myself. Can I do that? Sure, go ahead. I grew up very, very poor. A lot of people grow up poor, Drek. Yes, and I learned that you can't be at one with other people. They had their own problems, and they didn't want to listen to you. Well, people were always saying, how are things and how you're getting by and so forth. Yes, but they don't want you to tell them because if you tell them, they're very unhappy with you. So you don't tell people how you are when they say, how you doing? Oh no, no, no. Nobody should do that because then, then you become a problem. You don't want to be a problem. No, I want to be like you, I want to be normal. And you think I'm normal? Yes, yes, you, you are normal. You gotta be kidding, Drek. I'm normal? Well, you look normal. I look normal, that's, that's nice. 
and you sound normal. I sound normal, yes. You sound almost like James Bond. I sound like James Bond, yes. I heard you do Bond, Bond, 007, James Bond. I, I don't do the accent, I do it like this, Bond, 007, James Bond, yes. I want to reduce my accent, doctor. Well, all you have to do is just raise the pitch of your voice a little instead of talking all the way down here, that's what you're doing, and talk a little higher and cut the accent. How do you cut the accent? Well, you just talk the way I'm talking. Bond, 007, James Bond. It's easy for you to say, but it's not easy for me to do. But you've been around hundreds and hundreds of years, Drek. You should be able to pick that up. I know, but I don't have a good ear. You have a better ear. Yeah, I do have a better ear. I found that out and so forth. So I, I do voices and I, I'm a voice doctor. Yes, you're a very interesting voice doctor. Why do you say that? Well, you report cures of hopeless voice problems. Yes, I do. How did you know that? Well, I read you. You read me? Sure. Which way do you mean you read me? Well, I see that you publish. Yes, I do. And you have a DVD, yes. And you have books in the library. Yes, I, I do have books in the library. And I like to read you. You like to read me. Which way are you talking about, Drek? You like to read me. Well, I like change your voice, change your life. It's in the library. It's free. You like the book because it's in the library or you like the book because it's free? Both. That's interesting. And you have another book, Stop Committing Voice Suicide. Yes, I do. And it's in the library. Yes, it is. And it's free. Yes, it is free. And I read it. I want to sound like you. Why do you want to sound like me? I'm, I'm just me. No, you are in the face. And I am in the lower throat. No, you're not in the lower throat. Uh, Drek, you're up in the face. You just like a low-pitched voice. You're a bass voice. Yes, it scares the little women and the men and the children. Yes, it could do that. So if you just raise the pitch of your voice instead of talking all the way down here, if you just talked up there, I want to be your friend. See, if you, if you do that, Count, don't call me Count. Call me Drek. All right, Drek. So I'll call you Drac. Dracula. Yes. That's my name, Dracula. You sound much better when you raise the pitch of your voice. You don't like, you don't sound like mumbles. Yes, I know whom you're referring to. Could you say that again without the lower throat? Yes, I know whom you're referring to. You know about Henry the K. Yes, I know Henry the K. He sounds like he comes from somewhere comes from somewhere. He has that accent. Yes, I know. But it's hard to understand what he says. Well, you know, Irma Bombeck said, uh, Drek, that if you miss the f first few words of Henry Kissinger, it's all over. <laughs> yes, I know. Raise that pitch just a little and say, yes, I know. Yes, I know. It sounds so much more listenable, open and friendly. I want to be friendly. I'll do what you say. I'll do you, uh, Drek. I'll do you. Oh, I hear what you're saying. If I bring the pitch up, I sound friendlier. Yes, you do. And if I drop my voice down here, you see, then it's, it's, it's sounding all the way down there. And it's not going to make it through the day because people can't hear that voice down here. And it's kind of monotone. Yes, I understand what you say. I should talk up there. Yes, Drek, you should talk up there. And when you talk up there, you're in tune with Mozart. I'm in tune with Mozart. Yes, Drek, you're in tune with Mozart. And then you could understand the whole world because Mozart gives you insight 
into what the world is about. Yes, you are right, because when I listen to Mozart, I know, I know that he's at peace. He died young, you know. Yes, I know, 35, 36, 37. Yes, how did you know about that? I have been around, and you like to listen to Mozart. Yes. Why would that be so difficult? I understand what you said. Bring the pitch up. I shouldn't talk down here. I should talk up there. Yes, if you do that. And you can even sound like James Bond. Bond. 007. James Bond. That's very interesting, Doctor. Yes. Mozart was one of the greats. Louis Beethoven, others. They're greats. Those are geniuses. Yes, I know. I love to listen to them. And I like to listen to the scream. You like to listen to the scream? I, I don't understand. You listen to the scream? Yes. I stole the scream. You stole the scream? Yes, I have it at my house. I thought you were in Transylvania. Oh, no, that's past. I don't live there anymore, it's too dangerous. I can die from that. So you live out here? Yes, I live in Hollywood. You, Drek, live in Hollywood? Yes, it's much safer to live in Hollywood. There are strange people there, but I like to be with them. So if you like to be with strange people, what do they tell you, what do they do? Well, they like to talk, they like to talk, and they like to talk. And I like to read, I like to listen, and I listen to the scream. I don't understand that, you listen to the scream. I thought you would look at the scream. No, you listen to it, what it says to you. And that's why I am so down. My voice is down because it hurts to see what goes on in the world. Well, count if you want to live in this world, you have to face reality, and reality is not all that great. I know, Dr. Penglo said, did you read him in Candide? Oh yes, of course. You read him? Sure. He was very, very knowledgeable. Right before dismembered bodies, heads, arms, big crowd, he stood out and said, but this is the best of possible worlds. No, 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 he said, is this not the best of all possible worlds? Yes, yes, you're right. He said, is this not the best of all possible worlds? You're dropping down again, Ken. I want you to bring your pitch up. Yes, but I get depressed because I see that. And so you, uh, you stole the scream from the museum. You did it? Yes, because I see what he said. I understood what he says and I can listen to what he says by looking at the screen. I never thought about that, that way. Well, you have to see different things. When you grow up, you see things differently than when you were a little child. You were always grown up? Oh, yes. I had a very, very limited childhood. I just was myself, Dracula. And you never had a good childhood? No. I've been in psychoanalysis for years, doctor. You, Drake, have been in psychoanalysis? Yes, I've tried to find my real self. It's very difficult. How long have you been in psychoanalysis? Oh, a couple of hundred years. A couple of hundred years? Yes, it takes a little while before you begin to understand yourself. That's funny, a couple of hundred years. Most of us are only here for a brief period of time. I know, that's the problem. You know, there was a fellow in the 18th century, Horace Walpole, who said, to those who think life is a comedy, to those who feel it, a tragedy. Do you feel life as it is? Yes, that's why my voice is so low, and I feel it run with people because they come and they go. 
And lately, I saw a movie called Little Men.